this is what I resist otherwise. But yeah, thanks, that's fine, we're getting him now. Yeah, it's just a bit worrying a couple of minutes before. I thought I might have lost it. Come on. That's okay, never mind. Bye bye. That's one of it's through. All that and it's barely even breakfast time. Swamp Thing, the Incredible Man, is back tomorrow. Here's what's on this morning, though. Dragon Queen, you see, continues to start in the news. Now, two rounds of maggot moments. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Good morning, the Foreign Secretary Douglas Hurd has warned the South that the West is ready to consider a military action against them. In a newspaper article this morning, they yes. found that now be needed to prevent a full-scale Balkan war. Q O235, your op regions, O235. Stand by. Well, that's all the news for me for this morning. Now the no local news from your own area. Up to up, cut. Good morning, the news from South East. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and cut. Opt in. Hello. It's going to remain freezing for the southeast corner of the country. Tomorrow, a bit mixed again. Bye for now. Now I want to invite all you little partners out there to come out and see the Bible Billy Wild West Coast. He's a showman. With you on the next 40 then for the uh, animation. For a shot shooting. Every assistant I've had for the last 10 years has said exactly what's on this paper, and that's the way I want to continue. I'll give you a count. 15. Raise your voice to me again. I will scratch out your eyes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and mixer. Stand by VT51. Thank you. Welcome back to Children BBC Makeup, the shift room here where we have every morning our poly filler put into the old nooks and crannies. Now, maggot lines are open for round one. Best of luck getting through on this number 081 811 8181. And I hope over the last few days you've been entering the spirit of the haircuts from hell on come midnight Monday. And here I am with my wig. Run now, BT. I think we'll go to the booth for Not the booth for Go on then, episode six, coming up. <laughs> All right, we'll take that direct then, that's it. Yeah. Right, okay, we've got it direct now, folks. <laughs> yeah. A very good morning to you from BBC One. It's 6.30 and time for breakfast news with Nicholas Witchell and Laurie Mayer. Oh well, if, if I say was it good, you can just faint or something, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to say anything. I'll say he's got a crush on Maureen now and then. What sort of music will make you feel just right now? Next week, Melvin loses his bongos. <laughs> <laughs> go away. Hello. Please go away. Thank you. We've got a crush on Maureen now. Typical. Next week, Melvin loses his bongos. There is only one channel to watch at this time in the afternoon, and you're watching it. It is Children's BBC. Now, look. <laughs> yes, finally, I can get it round me. This is a lovely scarf that's been sent to me by Robert. The letter says, I was so happy that you're back from the Shetlands. I was very worried and concerned about you out there in all the bad weather. Well, Robert, thank you very much. I shall wear this to keep me warm. Maid Marion's mum pays a visit just a little bit later on. But now, the first part of Jack and Ori. Super darling. Thanks, love. You were marvellous. <laughs>
place, though. It's the Christmas place. Get you this prize. It's the two between 30, yeah. The Christmas ones. It's part of the Christmas thing, snowman. So they'll be nice, won't they? Yeah. Nice to cuddle up and watch in this horrible weather. Well, Eleanor. Move on I to the I hope you enjoyed the pantomime. <laughs> Don't think you can go and see it again because it's sold out. Oh, no. I know, it's very good, isn't it? Yesterday. Okay, then. Yesterday. Pardon? I saw it yesterday. And you couldn't remember what it was called? <laughs> what, you're Move like? on to the next caller. Get off this phone. <laughs> <laughs> Ta-ra. Bye. Bye. Who's online to? This is the Open University on BBC Two, and our first programme for today is from the Arts Foundation course and uses examples from the Great Exhibition of 1851 to discover how the Victorians defined good taste. <laughs> <laughs> 